Hey y'all, JS Creations Art Sanity here, and today I'm going to make myself a fall cup. So this is a 30 ounce fatty hog tumbler that I have decided not to prep with a base coat of color. I am just working straight on the stainless steel. I did prep this cup by sanding it with a sanding block and then cleaning it really good with some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And now I am just giving this a good layer of clear epoxy before I come in here and cover it with my glitter. <clears throat> so once I get my epoxy on the cup, I'm going to hit it with my torch to get any bubbles. And then I'm going to cover the entire cup with a mixture of fall glitter. Now this mixture is called pumpkin spice. It is a mixology glitter from Glitter Chimp. It is my favorite fall mixture of theirs. Just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to get my cup completely covered with this glitter and then I'm going to put it on my turner and leave it turning to cure. So here it is the next day and now I'm just going to put a clear layer of epoxy on top of my glitter to seal it in before moving on to the next step. So once I get this completely covered, I will hit it with my torch. I'm having a heck of a time with this insert. I have the wrong insert for this cup. Um, I should have changed it, but I didn't. So it was giving me fits. It kept moving around on me. But I'm going to get this covered. I will hit it with my torch, put it on my turner, and leave it turning to cure. So here it is cured um, and I have fish eyes and I have pulling away from the edge. So how I'm going to show you how I fix this. Just showing you the little fish eyes down here and um, I had a lot of pulling away from the edge of the top. So not too big of a deal since this is pretty early on um, in the cup. It would be more of a pain if it was like my last layer of epoxy. But all I'm going to do is give it a good sand with my sanding block. And then I will clean it really good with some 91% isopropyl alcohol. So once I get that good and sanded here, you can see the little fish eyes better. It's the non-sanded part there. So yeah, now I'm going to get my alcohol and just pour some on my shop towel and clean this really good. Making sure that I do not touch it now with my bare hands. So once I get this good and cleaned, I'm going to put it on my turner and get my epoxy mixed up to put a layer of epoxy on here and then I'll be good to go. So I do put that layer of epoxy on off camera. It's just plain old clear epoxy. So while that is curing, my decals here. I'm going to put a water slide on there and so I printed this decal off on some water slide paper and now I am just sealing it in with some um, it's Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray and I give this three coats. Um, I think if I remember right I got that decal from Kelsey Creations Designs, I think. I'll double check that and I'll have it all listed in the description below. 
so once I got um, my decal uh, sealed on this water slide paper like I said I gave it three coats I am just trimming it up and then putting it into my tub of water there I have off to the side my water is just room temp water nothing special and here's where I mess up yet again. You're going to see the moment where I was like, oh shit, this is not going to work. So I'm putting my decal on here and this is where I realize it's not going to work. You cannot see it right on this glitter. So there's my oh shit moment. <laughs> But I try to keep going. I'm like, oh, by some miracle, it, it's going to work. It's going to work. Just keep going. Yeah, no, it's not. I end up pulling this water slide off of here very carefully because I'm trying not to waste it. So I will pull it off and I will put it back on that paper. And now I'm going to, I rush outside and grab some spray paint. Um, I just went through the colors I had. I grabbed an orange, a silver, a purple, white, black, red. Pretty much the colors that were in my glitter. And all I did was I held my cup arm's length away and took each of those colors of spray paint and misted my cup with those colors and let it dry it was like two hours like I was really rushing this and now I'm going to use this is the same water slide I stuck it right back in my water and wetted my cup a little bit and now I'm putting this the the water slide on my cup I had no idea if this was going to work or if I was going to completely fudge it up but it worked awesome I was so happy I did not waste this water slide. So I just put this on here. I'm being very careful um, not to rip it and trying to push out any water or air bubbles that are underneath it. And once I'm satisfied with it, I'm going to kind of pet it, pat it down with my towel there to get any excess water off of the top of it and then I'm going to right after that right after I have my water off of here and everything I am going to come in here with some uh, acetone so you'll see that in just a second. So here's my acetone and I'm going to clean up around that water slide. So I'm going to that spray paint around there. I am going to, um, I guess kind of frame this water slide. So I'm going to take off the excess around it and kind of just frame this water slide with the, um, acetone here. So I'm just wiping off the, um, I guess it'd be overspray of spray paint with this acetone to frame this water slide. And I just go a little bit at a time until, and I just keep doing this until I get it to how I want it. So once I get this framed up here, if you will, I will go around the edges very carefully one more time just to um, kind of clean up that haziness around there from the spray paint to make sure that I have it all good and cleaned up.
so here it is all done and I will go ahead and leave this set overnight just before I put on um, my last couple layers of epoxy I'm so happy this worked out it, it looks so much better with that spray paint than just laying on the glitter so glad I did that and it worked out so now I'm just putting on this is going to be the um, first of the last two layers of epoxy I'm just covering it up with clear epoxy make sure I have good coverage I will hit it with my torch get any bubbles leave it turning on my turner to cure like I said this is the first of the last two I will do the other layer off camera so once I get this good and covered again I'll hit it with my torch get any bubbles put it on my turner to cure and I will do the last layer off camera like I said and I'll show you what it looks like all done and cleaned up so here it is I'm so happy with how this turned out I'm glad I was able to save that um, water slide I'm happy with the spray paint you know frame there to clean up the inside all I did was take my exacto knife around the edge to get any epoxy off of there that might have gotten in there and then I cleaned it out with some acetone and then washed it really good with some soap and water so yeah that's it for this one as always thank you guys so much for watching please like share subscribe and leave me a comment let me know what you think about this one and until next time see ya